So Kogoto classrooms, we cover an expanded curriculum. So what that means is we're covering everything in the provincial curriculum for the grade level, as well as extending on that. So in kindergarten, what that might look like, for example, is that we're practicing all these grapheme sounds and we're going to make sure that we're spelling simple words. So things that are a little bit beyond what a typical um, kindergarten classroom might be doing. And then for extension, things like science and social, we actually touch on some topics that might be more into grade one content and same with math. So we're looking at numbers to 30. We start addition and subtraction, measurement. So things that are a little bit higher order thinking for the kindergarten level. So it's just important for families to know that we do still cover all of the Alberta curriculum, but we expand upon that. The main thing that families will notice when they come into a Kokoto classroom compared to a typical kindergarten classroom is that the children do sit in desks in rows. So they're in a structured environment. It's teacher-directed instruction, so the teacher's at the front of the classroom, and students do it in a format of the, we teach the lesson, then we practice together, then they have independent practice time. So much more time sitting in a desk than moving around the classroom. And the students wear uniforms, so that's definitely also something that families notice upon entering. So we dress for success, and in Kokoto, the uniforms are kindergarten to grade six. We start our day um, with our language arts lesson that's actually phonics based. So we're expecting that children are coming to us likely knowing the alphabet already. They don't need to know the sounds, that's what we teach, but we use a phonics based literacy. So what we're teaching is a grapheme. So we wouldn't teach this is A, we would teach at A, A, for example. And we do explicit math instruction in which we actually use a textbook and families get a corresponding workbook to have at home so that they can always be practicing what we're doing. You would see more higher level math skills in a Kokoto classroom. We still do centers, so it's not that we're going to be sitting in our desks from when they get dropped off at 8.45 until you pick them up at 11.20 or uh, 12, 30, and 3 in the afternoon. So we do do centers, but we're looking at about 20 minutes of our day. So we set up little groups. They're typically three to five students. They get to work with them. And then we rotate our centers every couple weeks. So they're always still working with different students. Sometimes we get to leave our school and we'll go to places like the zoo, the art studio, Profiles Art Gallery. We go to um, Marine Life at West Edmonton Mall. So there's always ways that we can be extending on what we're learning in class and going along with our weekly or monthly themes. And then when we do in-class activities, we do a lot of teacher's pet in school field trips. And so that's an opportunity for families to be involved and get to come in and see our classrooms. They can help run centers. So families really enjoy that because it gives them that opportunity to kind of have a glimpse of in our classroom life. To make us also unique is that you're going to get a homework note if you come to Kokoto Kindergarten. So on Mondays each week, a family gets a homework note and it outlines what you need to practice Monday to Thursday throughout the week. On Fridays, we do weekly testing. So throughout the week, you're always reinforcing what we've learned in class. So there'll be language arts and math homework daily. We don't send homework on weekends. So that's kind of a nice way for families to plan is Monday to Thursday are your work evenings. So Friday we'll do a spelling quiz. It starts at the beginning of the year with just single letter graphemes and then toward the end of the year we actually do a spelling quiz with words. And math assessments you're going to see a paper, paper pencil test as well for math but math assessments happen whenever we finish a unit so it's not weekly necessarily it's more like twice a month. So in Kokoto Kindergarten we do offer both half day and full day. We always ensure that the students who are in half day are not at a disadvantage to the students are, who are at full day. So they're going to get half of their day as their Kokoto curricular instruction. So I teach the two half day classes. I do a repeat in the morning and the afternoon. It's the same content. And then the full day teacher teaches the Kokoto portion in the morning and full day students do enrichment in the afternoon. In the Kokoto program, French starts in grade one. So they do get French instructions beginning in grade one, they have, we have a French specialist who comes to the grade one classrooms. So that's different than a typical classroom setting unless you were in French immersion, just because uh, French would typically be introduced in grade three. We also, throughout the whole Kokoto program, do monthly recitation. So that's an important thing to talk about because 
we do eight of them throughout the school year. So students starting in September in kindergarten get a poem and they get to practice it and recite it for their classmates and they get a score. And so it's a great way to start public speaking. It's really incredible to see how confident they can become. They always start out a little bit nervous, but it's actually a really awesome thing to get to see their confidence grow throughout the year. And then by the time they're in older grades, they have great public speaking skills because they've built that confidence. In planning for success, we do a readiness assessment. So what that would typically look like is I meet with groups of three to five students and we go to the library and we do some activities together and it allows me to offer families um, suggestions as to where their child might need to continue to build up some skills for growth or where their child's doing awesome and is definitely ready for a, a program like Kokoto. So what that looks like is things like, can your child hold a pencil? Can they print their name numbers to 10? Do they know their simple shapes? Can they recognize alphabet letters out of order? So things like that, just to ensure that when they do come to this fast paced environment, they've got the background knowledge to help them to be successful. So it's really an opportunity for us to share feedback to families and just give them some time for practice and growth. And then in the summer, if people enter the Kokoto program, we send out a little practice booklet that families can complete throughout the summer months. And that way they have that opportunity to keep building those skills.